Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life Channel. I'm so happy to see you here today. First of all, I would like to apologize for not uploading the videos um, on a regular basis, but I do hope that you will understand that there are um, sometimes moments in everyone's life when you just um, cannot follow your schedule and you again need some time just to pull yourself together. So, and um, I've done that and here I am. In today's video we are going to discuss the um, habits that actually weaken the immune system. The things that probably people do on a daily basis which is not good or sometimes. Basically I would like to share with you the four major things that you could do every day and that dramatically can really decrease the ability of your immune system to protect your body. What is an immune system? It is your body's defense against diseases and illnesses. Your immune system recognizes the cells that your body is made up with and it tries to destroy anything that seems unfamiliar. So basically this is the way your immune system is fighting the bacteria, viruses and germs. The bad habit number one is the sugar. So if you are overdosing on sugar, this is very bad for your immune system. Let's say 100 grams of sugar, it's um, actually 8 tablespoons and it could be equivalent of 2 cans of soda, only 2 cans of soda. But after you drink that, it means that you are, it, um, the sugar in the soda decreases the ability of your white blood cells to fight the bacteria by 40%. And this immune suppressing effect actually happens already half an hour after you eat uh, or drink the soda. You eat anything sugary or you drink the soda. But the worst thing is that this effect can last up to five hours. So it means that for five hours your immune system is not working properly. It is not doing the job it is supposed to do and your body is simply not protected against bacteria and illnesses. In contrast, the indigestion of complex carbohydrates or stretches has no similar effect on the immune system. So if you do not want to go hard on your immune system and you want it to function at its best and be able to cope with any infections and diseases, you definitely need to decrease the amount of junk foods that you're eating and different kind of sodas and unhealthy drinks that you're drinking. It shouldn't be a problem because there are plenty of options of healthy foods and drinks out there which you could definitely uh, enjoy throughout the day. Your body gets no vitamins, no minerals when you are eating this unhealthy diet. Your body is not nourished and it leads to the malnutrition and it is also very bad for your immune system because your body is not getting what it is supposed to get, the proper amount of necessary vitamins and minerals. Another reason probably why you would like to uh, cut on junk food and soda is because it will help your body to try to fight the stress and be able to cope with the difficult situations better. And as you know, stress could be it could play a dramatic could play a dramatic role in your overall health. If your body is under stress, your immune system will be under stress as well. Definitely I need to give you another reason to avoid the junk food and that will be a bad habit number two. The reason is the fat. As you know, almost all junk food is really is full of fat and too much fat can lead to obesity, it can lead to the fat deposits that are not good and all these weaken the immune system greatly. It can affect the ability of your uh, white blood cells to multiply, to produce antibodies and to rush to the site of an infection. So that's not good news, you definitely don't want that, you want slim waistline and you want to be healthy. So try to limit the junk food or I would say eliminate it completely as soon as possible. The reason number three is the allergic reactions. A very simple example I could give you is, let's say, with the milk. People who are, cannot tolerate milk, um, their immune system is, is acting basically this way. It recognizes the otherwise harmless substances, let's say milk, and it is uh, 
acting, it is treating them as a foreign invader and this way it causes the allergic reaction because it is trying to attack it. So this is something that weakens the immune system and it also it makes you feel bad. There are so many different um, allergic reactions, you know, headaches, stress, depression, you could really do research on that. So if you're thinking that after eating a certain food, you are trying, you are feeling not that well, you're feeling worse, you know, sometimes the, the easiest symptoms are that you are having the, you know, the increased heartbeat or sweating, or you are feeling tired, you're feeling fatigued, or maybe even your temperature might raise. These are the like the most the easiest symptoms which you could pay attention to if you would like to figure out if you're allergic to fruit or not. But allergy is a different, completely different target because it is very, very hard to find out if you are allergic to certain fruits. But there are different kind of foods, uh, and among them, there there are certain foods that are uh, more likely to cause an allergic reaction in your body. Let's say, I would just uh, put a small list in the description so you could just um, look through it and find out that maybe you've seen these symptoms before and uh, you would like to eliminate this food for a couple of you know days and maybe forever if you will definitely see that these causes you, you know, allergic reaction. The last reason, number four, is going to be alcohol. I'm not saying that you need to um, stop drinking alcohol and enjoying um, a cocktail or a glass of wine over the weekend during the nice dinner party, I'm not saying that. But just for your information, excess alcohol can harm your immune system greatly as well because it is acting as well as uh, in two ways. First way, as well as the sugar, it um, reduces the ability of the white blood cells to kill the germs and infection and it produces the overall nutrition deficiency, depriving the body of valuable nutrients and basically immune boosting nutrients. So immune system really needs all those vitamins and minerals uh, and you need to provide it with it so it could function at its best. So one or two drinks, you know, if you drink in moderation, should not really cause any problems and uh, be hard on your immune system. But three or more drinks, definitely will. So try to take care of yourself and drink uh, reasonably any time you are going to drink. <laughs> so these are the main uh, bad habits that could uh, really suppress the immune system and um, it is very easy to control them. You need to make sure that you're eating a healthy diet, you, you're consuming enough amount of vegetables and fruits, that you are eating a variety of foods, not just one fruit, because this way your body might become malnourished, which is not good. You need to limit the junk foods and sodas, and you, tr you need to, to laugh more and try to stay positive. Another wonderful thing that you could do is to try to be active. I know that especially during the winter months, people do not move a lot, and they basically leading sedentary lifestyle but you do not want that as well and I'm pretty sure that everybody can find at least 20 minutes uh, during the day when you could just take a walk by the way did you walk today if you did that's great if you're not that I think you should really get up stop watching whatever you're doing here even this video just start it off and go and take a nice walk the best, of course, is to spend some time outside, preferably when the sun is shining, but unfortunately not everyone can do that. But for that purpose, there are weekends when people definitely can try to fit in their schedule some nice 20 minute walk. And uh, it's been proven that even a 20 minute walk every day, even during five days a week, it will help your immune system to perform at its best. As for the exercises, I always recommend people to spend at least 15 and 20 minutes a day during doing some exercises. If you have no time for the gym, that is never a problem. And um, you could just try to make your own exercising routine, if, you know, watch some video and find the exercises that you like and then just try to, to use them in your morning exercising. And then if you want to do it in the evening, that's also great, but I'm strongly recommending everybody, when, when you come home and just before going to sleep, this is very good as a relaxing therapy, especially if you're sitting a lot in front of the computer and during the day we have a lot of stress, uh, nobody can be protected against that. Just do some stretchings. It is very easy. Uh, you know, find some exercises. Just stretch whatever you feel like. Your body will definitely tell you what you need to do. The thing is that when you when you've done stretching, all your muscles and uh, 
um, you know, they are not sore and they, they are not under tension, you will sleep better and your thoughts will be clearer. Try to do maybe five minute breathing exercises, you know, inhale and exhale. It's so simple. And this will also help you to reduce the, the stress, get a better sleep. By the way, a proper sleep, at least, you know, six to eight hours is also very important for your immune system. So you want to make sure that you're sleeping enough amount of time. I definitely do not want all these recommendations to be overwhelming, but I do believe that little by little every person can try to incorporate in his life simple things like, you know, I've listed, uh, I've just uh, told you about. The thing is that it is your responsibility to take care of your life and well-being and um, it's not a physician, it's not a healthy magazine or it's nothing really, nothing else can make your body function well and nothing can make you stay emotionally well. This is also very important because your mind and your body are so connected that it is very important to keep this connection nice and smooth. Wake up in the morning and try to think that this is going to be a good day. And even before going to sleep, you understand that something not very nice happened and you're probably not that satisfied with your day. Anyway, try to think that there have been good moments and then tomorrow is going to be a new and better day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Put the thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. I will see you later and as always, I wish you to stay happy and healthy.